The Wolf Tones performed at the Electric uh, Picnic over the weekend. They produced the biggest crowd ever in the electric arena. It's not the main stage, but it's still a pretty big area. But if you see the photographs of it, the tent is rammed and then there's huge crowds all around the tent. The biggest ever uh, crowd at the electric uh, arena. It got us talking, uh, Kira, about, because obviously the song features the lyrics, Ooh, ah, up the ra. Mm-hmm. Um, it got us thinking and talking this morning about whether it's appropriate uh, or, or not. Uh, and the popularity of that song, is it a good thing or does it suggest a revisionism about what happened? I think it does suggest a revisionism, but I also think that's kind of normal insofar as there has been distance put between, time was what I mean really in terms of distance between the Troubles and now. Uh, the ceasefire was 1994, the Good Friday Agreement 1998. It's a generation ago. There are young people who were there singing Ooh, uh, Up the Ra that the Ra were never active during their lifetimes. So it, it means yeah. nothing to them. And it reminds me a little bit of, of I was born in 1971 and the 70s when I was a small child were dominated by documentaries and things about the Second World War, which I thought was ancient history. It might as well have been 1750. It was 26 years before I was born and that's all it was when it ended. That's like 1997 to now. You know, the past is a different country and and, and for those of us who, who, who grew up watching news bulletins and thankfully not living through it ourselves, we were lucky, um, but watching news bulletins about punishment beatings and kneecapping and knowing what these terms meant and, and, and bombs going off constantly and deaths every day on the news in Northern Ireland and murders yeah. and all of that. Atrocities, constant atrocities. Um, we have a different relationship we do. with it to, to, to what people uh, have now. And it is it is understandable. And look, I'm not having to go with kids. Who, uh, I, I saw a group of them on the Lewis heading out to the race and they pretend singing Ooh, up the ra. And uh, look, I'm, I'm not having to go with that. If I was 21 or 22, I'd probably be doing the same thing. My worry is that I always have a concern when we start rewriting history. And I think a rose-tinted narrative has developed about the Troubles, that it was a kind of a just and gallant war uh, against an uh, an oppressor, whereas what the troubles, what uh, what, what the, the, those twenty five years, they were ugly, they were brutal, there was sectarian killings, there was women taken out of their homes and, and murdered for fraternising with 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 uh, British army uh, soldiers. Uh, there were people strapped to bombs and being made to drive them to to, to army barracks. Uh, and the other narrative that has developed is that there was no alternative uh, to this which must be news to the likes of John Hume and, and, and Seamus Mallon. And I think rewriting history, it, it worries me. It is a dangerous thing. Uh, so you can say it's harmless singing these songs and stuff, but I, it, it makes me nervous, I have to say. Yeah, I know it does. And, and I suspect what we're actually seeing is is the, the, the sort of bunching together of wars of independence, civil wars, Troubles, uh, you know, 1798 uprisings. Oh, it's a continuum maybe in some people's minds now and they don't differentiate between different things. But let us know, are people glamorising the IRA and is that okay? Is, is, that, is that a bad thing? Should they stop? Uh, as Shane said, people were probably singing away and having the crack and, and not thinking about what they were doing. But what do you make of it? What do you make of that idea that it's okay now to celebrate the Troubles to some extent?